Okay. Okay. They need to work on that, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you understand it though? Yeah. This young brother uh, did his first comedy show at uh, 15 years old and it changed his life. Hey, listen to this, something has gone viral and thank God it's not something vicious. A round of applause, clap if you got a whooping growing up. If you got whoopers growing up. I, I didn't say spankings, you know, spankings, you know, spankings, there's a difference, you know, spanking them. Uh. Would you say that he's the star or would you say that you the star, man, you know what I'm saying, just man. being. You know I'm bitter. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know I'm bitter. If you are live, subscribe. Man, look. It's warm outside. I'm in Nashville. I'm feeling good. I done had a shot. I gave, my partner done had a shot, and I got a special guest that, that we gave him a shot. And I wanna um I wanna commend this guy. He's my first comedian on the show. But first look. I want y'all to subscribe to my channel, even if you don't like it. You don't even have to like my channel to subscribe to it. You might you might see a guest that you like, and it might come down your timeline, and then you might want to pay attention to somebody you like because you never know who might come here. But look, this guy, you know him. And if you don't know him, you finna know him. Comedian DJ Pryor. How that's you my, doing? That's man? my crowd noise. How you doing? How you I'm doing? good, bro. Look, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm fanned out. If you don't know this comedian, can you tell them like who you are? Man, uh, you what know, are you most known for? I'm. I guess I'm most known for this viral video with my son. I guess that that that'd be the one. I guess that'd be my claim to fame with my little boy, who's a grown man now. Uh, uh, this video went viral. Me and my son sitting on the couch having a conversation, and uh, it went crazy viral. It went Crazy about yeah, him. and uh, it changed my life, man. It changed, it changed our life. It changed, it changed the game for me, man. Okay, uh, comedian DJ Pry, mm -hmm. are you a DJ too, or that's just nah? That's, just that's enough. my nickname. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. What, you know, you what see, people, that's, I'm glad you clarified. Okay, that. Let, let, let's get Look, that straight. You yeah. know, what I, mean? I wanted to know. Hey, that. yo, because people tried to book me, yo. So back in the day, this this lady, she tried to book me for real. Okay, and uh, <laughs> the funny story, she uh. She she called me and she was trying to book me and and uh, so I'm excited I'm like all right cool she paid her deposit uh -huh. and uh, I showed up to the event and she was like where are all your DJ stuff and I was like what what you mean I I'm, I'm a oh you think I'm a no <laughs> hey yo so uh, she paid her deposit I couldn't give her her money back so oh. so I went and plugged up you know the, the CD player okay the auxiliary cord the whole bunch of stuff. Then I carry my phone and fucking up stuff. Just you know, they had to hear like YouTube, a whole bunch of YouTube stuff. Okay, you know, you got the ads and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they had to play the music. Yeah, I DJ that party. Let me, it was uh, great. Okay, and let me ask you a question. When it comes to viral videos, yeah. everybody just think like, "Oh, you just go viral." Yeah. Um, was you planning on going viral on that nah. video, or was you just it just like you and your son yeah, was just, just you know moment, what I'm saying? Man, it okay. was just a moment. You just you just I think you know. If you plan to go viral, you won't go. That's what I'm, that's, that's, I, I, that's I, I, the key. Is the plan is not to plan. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's yeah. the, you got to just sit there. So we was vibing out because okay. I thought it was funny. You know what I mean? So I told my wife, yo, we, we, we vibing, record this because it was yeah. supposed to be for like home movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we was going to keep it for us. But unbeknownst to me, she going to post it a month later to the date that she posted it. It was a month. So you didn't even post I it. I didn't even post it. Yeah. So that's it's her. Mm. Yeah. She posted it and it went crazy, bro. It was like, yo, like it went. Nuts. And, Everybody connected. And that was and so your son was how old at the time? He was uh eighteen months, I believe. Yeah, he was 18, eighteen and he's how old now? He's six now. He'll be okay. seven in November. With him, do he understand a little bit what happened now? Nah. Or he still ain't even grasped. Yeah, you know, when you that age, you know, you I think when people walk up, like when we out, people will go, Oh, hey, hey, like, hey, 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 chill, you know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, you know what yeah. Yeah. But sometimes we'll be watching like something on YouTube or okay. something. And it might come across the screen, yeah. and we'd be like, "Oh, you know," and we we might watch it and laugh at it. But I still don't think it hit him what it was. Would you say that he's the star, or would you say that you the star? Man, you know, what I'm saying just man. being. You know, I'm bitter. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know I'm bitter. You know, yeah. You <laughs> nah, know I mean? man. You know, I think, I think, um, I think it was a com. I think it was a combination. It was like a buddy okay. picture. You know what I mean? Was, yeah. You know when you see like a, a movie with two people and you know they bring out each other. I think he he would have been cute, but I don't think it would have been as cute if I wasn't sitting there. And I, you know what I mean? And vice versa. <laughs> uh, but to answer that, he's probably the star. He he's the star. He definitely got that. 
And so, um, what was you doing prior to that? Like, just I know that video hit, but was you was you was you was you being a comedian? I was before grinding, that? man. I was I was. See, here is a misconception. I'm glad you asked that. So I we can go ahead and clear this up. I what camera I look at right here? Yeah, I'm yeah, glad we're clearing right. this up. Okay, <laughs> I was working <laughs> before and then. Right? Okay. Y'all gonna stop acting like my baby put me on? Cause I was working before then. Yeah. Um, okay. I was now, nah, man. I was at that time. I think I was 16 years in, somewhere okay. around there. Okay. I'm um, 21 years in now. Don't ask me to do that math. Okay. But I'm 21 years in June. It'd be 21 years I've been okay. doing stand up. So I was grinding it out. I already had to deal with CBS and all that stuff. So if you do your research, yeah. I was already on. Was like, but then the video just helped. Take off what was already put in place. Okay. Uh, so I was grinding, man. I was I was going. I was doing half half um, half L A, half Tennessee. So I would be three weeks. Are in you LA. from? Where are you actually from? I'm actually from Richmond, Virginia. Well, okay. Petersburg, Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Petersburg, Virginia. Uh, and then my father was military, and okay. we came out here. You know, Fort Campbell. And then uh, I I was getting in trouble. You know what I mean? I yeah. was getting in trouble because I was funny. I discovered I was funny. Mm-hmm. And uh, and by that time, you know, my dad. As I grew up, he got out of the military. He went back to Virginia. I stayed here. Had a baby on the way. My oldest son, my oldest son, shout out to my oldest son. Uh, give him some love. Okay. Uh, Even though my... he didn't you know, do nothing. But, okay. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. That's my baby boy, though. That's my baby boy. He was like, Dad, come on, man. That's my son. Just turned 13. Uh, so when he was on the way, I found out he was on the way. I was like, well, I can't move okay. back to VA. I stayed here. So, uh, yeah, man, it was just, it was just, um, it was that. It was, it was. Building that, my fan base out here. Once I started doing that, I was like, man, I'm going to stay out here. Do you think, um, because I believe this, do you think the uh, the work, the work that you have done prior to going viral, uh-huh. do you think that what kind of added up to going viral? Like, the blessing in it, you know what I'm saying? I, man, Just I, doing the work. Yes and no. Okay. I think I think I think it couldn't have, you know, because videos go viral all the time, right? I think what kept the video not going, all the time, but they viral. They go viral all the time. Yeah, but I mean different videos, not the not same. Not as just like yeah. anything ain't going yeah. viral. Okay, but but you know it's like it's like it's more common than it used to be. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, I think um, I think things when things go viral, it could have been a moment that came and went. Okay. I think because things were put in place as far as my career and things like that is what kept it going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, so I do think it did help that um, the longevity of it. I do think having things that I had in place. What would you say is viral if 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 somebody's going viral mm-hmm. when it's considering YouTube and all these places? Yeah. Like, what's going viral? Because you're up to, like, how many views on your viral video? So, like? so last we checked, it's over a half a billion. So okay. it might be at a billion now. I don't know, like, mm-hmm. uh, 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 across all the digital platforms. Okay. But... You know, technically, they say going viral is not till you hit five million. Did you know that? Okay, I, that, that's five what, million. No, that's why I asked it. So if you hit one point something, you, you're you not ain't viral. viral yet. You ain't viral. Yet. <laughs> you ain't, viral you ain't yet. even there yet. You're you not crazy. That is that's, that's, that you can hit two million and people still say no, nope, almost. <laughs> that's that what I, I it, but but that's what I really want yeah, to know. Like yeah. how many considering yeah. millions of views. So in ten, so in I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in perspective oh. for you. So in in ten hours, we did twenty five million. So that literally means you went to sleep, nobody knew you, you woke up, and you was famous. That's what that means. Like, you go outside, oh, and they be like, yo, yo. Over, that's the overnight success. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yo, yeah. whatever, huh? yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was, that, that's, that's crazy. 25 million in 10 hours can go to your head fast. And so, but how do you handle that after going viral yeah. and knowing that you already been working yeah and like this is my big moment? Yeah. And so how do you, how do you move after that? Man, I got cocky, bro. Don't nobody call my phone. <laughs> bro, I changed my number immediately. Don't nobody call me. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through like three people to talk to me. My wife like, like I did. Take, yeah. I had to go through two exactly. people. <laughs> like, yo, take out the trash. I don't take out no trash. I'm a celebrity. Uh, I took it out, but the point being this, though. Yeah. Uh, I understood. No, man, it was really crazy. It's, it, you don't, there's nothing that could prepare you for that. Okay. That momentum. It happens so fast. You know what I'm saying? Like you turning on it, you turning the channel and every channel. So what do you, you see do yourself? after viral? Like, what do you do now? Hey, you find cause it's like I finally got my moment. Yeah. I, I you <laughs> Oh snap, it's happening. You know? <laughs> that's, that's what you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's happening! Oh, what do you do? Is, is it like ugly? Yeah, no, oh, seriously. No. That's that's for real. It's like, uh, oh, I think.
think for me it was I think for me it was really about the narrative though. Okay. Of of black fatherhood. Okay. Right? Ooh, it, it um, said it I high. had that, yeah. It was like the moment got killed real short because, you know, black men was walking up to be like, hey man. Because I'm representing <laughs> for all of us, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it it went from being about the whole celebrity of it all to okay. to being to making sure that the narrative was intact. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So immediately I went to protecting the narrative. And and debunking the the narrative that black fathers weren't present. Okay. So immediately I went into that mode. It's like show the world that we're here and okay. we're doing it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what it was for me. I didn't get to really take in like, oh, like, I'm a celebrity. Nah, you know? yeah. I had that all about that night. Maybe about four <laughs> hours of that. I was sitting there turning on CNN and everything, and I'm watching uh, uh, Don Lemon y'all and all see them. Me now, like, yeah. I don't want, Look yeah. at me, right? Look at me there. Somebody sent me something from Paris, and it was like, yo, they even got it over here in Paris, and they're like, we 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 DJ Prayer, and I was like, yeah, yeah I don't point. know nothing they said, but they said DJ Prayer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But after that, it, it burst your bubble. Like, are you gonna make this moment about you, or are you gonna, are you gonna speak on the behalf? Fathers who are present, and that's that's what it quickly became about. But but working so long, like you said, you were sixteen years in yeah. at that time. Yeah. Like, um, what made you stay humble to where it's like I'm gonna make this about the fathers, yeah. other than about my comedy? Because I know me, I would probably feel like now I'm, it's I would been I would have been thinking like it's my time right. now. You know what I'm saying? Son, I've arrived, son. <laughs> son, I, I yeah. made you. Yeah. You owe me that. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And so so what kept you humble? Would you say through that time of being just and, and and still up to now? Yeah, God, man. Okay, God. I mean, it's it's no other way. It was like, yo, so you think I let this moment happen for you, or mm. or was it, or because it's sometimes you got to do something right that's like that's that's bigger than you, yeah, right. Yeah, and my yeah. plan was like just stand up, but then it, you know they said God's plan is like, yo, but this moment was still, and you can still do you, yeah, you, still but you're gonna do. You through me, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and that's and that's what it became. It was like there was a mission, and so that's kind of how my my special was even conceived. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh man, this topic of fatherhood became a thing, and we'll get into to, to the special. Yeah. But I want to um that issues right? Yeah, that okay, issue, we'll get yeah. into that later. Yeah, but uh, I want to I want to talk about like um, what's the perks of comedy, and you know we all so used to. Rapping and yeah. uh, what we do, and, yeah. but comedians actually have to. It's a wide range of comedians right. right here, and you have to be funny. So, yeah. how do you prepare on being a comedian and working hard at it? Make sure you're seen. Yeah, I think uh, comedy is about perspective, man. Okay, you know what I mean. It, uh, we are the narrators of society. Okay, right. We say what everybody want to say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what makes a comedy a good comedy show. It's like when you come to a show, I'm we're saying everything that everybody in the room was thinking. Yeah. We're just the ones bold enough to say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hold up, but hold up. But yeah. now you can't say to What what happened from the Bernie Max to man, now? Man, man. Now that now <laughs> that is what happened. That is, I want to know. Now that <laughs> my friend is a, you know what man. You know what what happened. Cancel culture is what happened. Okay, right. So before you could say something. See, we got these now. Yeah, yeah. Right? We got okay. these phones. So you do something. You say something. It's done. It could be. I could say something right now. Right, okay. and we record it. You record it. You know, Omega record it right now, and then that mug will go. It'll go. And yeah. I'm done. Yeah. In five minutes. <laughs> they didn't hear the rest of my narrative. They heard a clip. Right? Com- comedian DJ yeah. Brown ain't the good father right. no you more. Know what I'm saying? He's the super bad. They person. heard a clip. I said I'm gonna whoop my son ass. They heard a clip. Oh, he's abusive. You know what I mean? Like wow, guys. Yeah. I think it's just, it's just that's what it is, man. Is 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 these. Okay. Have become the thing yeah. that have destroyed the social media, yep. man. Mm-hmm. That's the world that people live in. Like they, people make social media real life. Yeah. yeah, it's not real life, guys. It's like it's, it's life it's, outside of social media. Like it's log fun. off. It's probably fun, right? Log it, off. You know what I'm saying? Log <laughs> off. It, life yeah. goes on. But I think people are making real life. Like you got people for real beefing. Yeah. Like if you, if I unfollow you right now, you see me in the store. You don't know how to take me. You gonna follow me? What? I are just we, don't follow we, you because I don't want to follow right, you. Are we beefing now? Yeah, you want to follow me. So you ain't, yeah. That's that's what we are now. So I think social media, man, messed the game up. And this, unfortunately, is is a very, it's a, 
it's a it's a beautiful art, uh-huh. right? Comedy yeah. is such a beautiful oh, it's art, the best. right? But it's it is a dying art because people think they reserve the right to tell you what you can say, mm. what you can believe, because they themselves don't believe it. Well, that's cool. But if you don't believe it, that doesn't mean that I don't have an audience that still be, buys yeah. into what I'm saying. And I think we're just, we're so busy trying to control each each other's narratives that we we try to stifle what the art form is. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask, okay, I want to ask you a question mm-hmm. in in that when it comes to uh comedians. Yeah. And you know, it's always about he copying off me, he still my joke. I think you and uh uh I think it was like Flash Flood or something yeah. had like a Oh wow What happened? Yeah. I mean was it yeah. Did you steal a joke or did so, he steal it? Oh what happened? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm so 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 the so, so uh, shout out to uh, Flood. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. what happened was I grew up with doing. I I uh okay. I, I posted this video right. Okay. And and I'm doing this Michael Jackson bit. Now I've been doing this bit for a long time, and um and so somebody hit me up and was like, uh, Flash Flood want to talk to you. So I was like, oh, Why? Right. Now I'm a fan of the guy. I, I'm a fan. So I'm thinking he gonna give me some love. You I'm like, ooh, you know. Flash Flood was so talking. before I get to talk to him. He, he comments on there like word, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's happening? <laughs> He's like, "Yo, you stealing jokes now, man?" I one day I was in a club and Flood rolled up on me. Yo, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yo!" So he was like, "Nah." So it was a whole bunch of people involved. Yo, yo, yo. I mean, I, when I tell you, it was people protesting. Like I was banned, bro. <laughs> like, he was yo, fucking, you stealing jokes, bro? Yeah, yeah, whoop the woo. And um and I had we was going back and forth. And I was like, Flood, I'm telling you, I got tapes okay. from way back, back that in. I was doing. I was yeah. doing this bit, and yeah, yeah, I woo. It just so happens that your bit is like literally the same thing. And I and and so we end up working it out. But I don't do the bit as, as much now. He was like, but that's my clothing. That's my you know. And at the yeah. time, that was his closing bit. That was, that was yeah. like in the middle. That was like in my show. It's kind of in the middle of my bit. Okay, but as a comedian, yeah. as you looking at it like. Man, I've been doing this. Yeah. Do you stop doing the joke or do you like, no, I'm still. I think it, re- I think it depends on the, the level of relationship. And because I appreciated who he was okay. to me, it meant more for me to have the relationship with him. Respect. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I was, because I understanding as a comic, that was his closer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it was like. It'd be one thing if it was in the middle of his show. Like, it was in the middle of my show. That was his closer. closer. Yeah. So it was like, yo, you taking his closing. You know what I mean? And it wasn't I was taking I was doing this bit. So okay. I was like, cool. So I did little tweaks to to mine because they were, like I said, it was ver- it was literally verbatim. Like, I even when I watched it, I went, damn, I can see. I can see, I can see he, why he thought that. I can see why he thought that. Yeah. <laughs> I can, but but uh, I don't do the bit as much now. Every, every now and again, I might pull one out of that. But it's, it's different. I tweaked it. Uh, but it happens more often than not yeah. in in the comedy world because when you're when you got guys who are just uh, uh, like minded, you know what I'm saying. Okay. And me and him are even in energy. You see Flash Flood oh, on yeah. stage, and you see his energy, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you look at my energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We we are compared often in the energies, bro. Yeah. And that just that's just one of those things. Y'all where kind of look alike a little bit. Here, he's so? a little taller. That's racist, just... man. <laughs> that's racist, man. It's because of our noses, huh? Would, you see that, bud? That would, you see that? <laughs> see, that's racist, man. That would, if I'm you just, were last subscribe, it's racist. Saying, <laughs> and see, now you finna have me bow out. Right. You finna get me canceled. You finna get me canceled. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole show canceled. No. No, uh, but that's my brother, man. Uh, and and we, we were able to patch it up, man. But it was, yeah, it was a crazy time, man. Okay. How tight? Okay, I want to talk about a situation because um, I really kind of like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the guy after this. Yeah. Um, you got a guy like Ti coming yeah. to comedy. Yeah, that's that's interesting. And then you got a guy like Godfrey. Yeah. And I at one time Ti went on behind him. Yeah. If you're familiar with yep. that. Yep. Yep. Wrong or right? <sighs> Wrong or right? I, I, you just don't do it. You don't put like so. Ti, from what I understand, I remember the story. I think Ti went on after God. He went on after God. Yeah, no, you don't do that. Cause why would I do that? That's an opener going after a headliner. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, it's just in the comedy world. Yeah, that's why it's I'm... not respected. Okay. Yeah, it's like what? what? Why would you? Uh, I think we we try to make things. It, that was a commercial move. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a. That wasn't a. 
by industry standard move. Like okay. that's not Godfrey obviously has been Godfrey what almost thirty some years in this. Yeah. So T I was thirty minutes in it. You mm. know what I mean? At the time. <laughs> like, well, but as a comedian, yeah. um, is it something wrong? Okay, if uh for me, I'm podcast. Yeah. I'm I'm I love podcasts right. to death and it's yeah. it's growing and I love it. Yeah. But I'm not doing podcasts just to say I'm just a big podcaster. Yeah, right. I would like podcasts to open up more doors. Yeah. And so on 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 respect of the work that T.I. has put in, do you feel like that he got special treatment because he was T.I. or do you feel like he worked hard to be able to open a door like that? I think I think it's it's, it's a two-way street. I think obviously they gave him uh, chances that they probably wouldn't have given somebody else. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because okay. Of he was T.I. But I will say from what I've seen, I don't know, I haven't seen the show, but from what I've seen, it seems like he surrounded himself with with people who have been in the industry a long time. So he seemed like he did his homework. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, to be doing it. So shout out to T.I. He seemed like he doing his oh, thing. Oh, I love it. Yeah. To, and shout out to Godfrey, too. Yeah, Dummy Godfrey, Wee. yeah. Shout out to you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's it, But it seems like he's doing his homework. But there are guys who come in and think that comedy is just, they think because they funny at the dinner table. Oh, they, definitely. 100%. I can do this, man. Everybody <laughs> always said I was funny. You know, you're like, yeah, partner, that ain't the same that thing, That ain't the same thing. You know what I mean? Because you get in front of people that don't owe you a laugh. Do you That's think T.I. is funny or have you or have you seen them? I ain't, I, I seen clips. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen. Uh, I saw the one we got booed in uh, New York. Uh, see, that's the thing about New York. <laughs> New Yorkers don't owe you nothing, right? If you see, I so I got my New York story. My New York okay. story. I, I thought I was ready, right? I was 16 years old. I was only a year in stand up. Okay. My god brother takes me out there. I was like, "Yo, take me out to New York. I'm ready." He was like, "D, you think you ready?" I said, "I know I am." Ready. So he takes me out there, right? I get up there <laughs> and I do this. Uh, I do this bit. Oh man, a New York boo. Comes from the gut. It, you, so you get a ain't good, that what uh, Apollo is? Damn. Okay. So, so the ahead. boo is hit, the boo. They are boo. They are born with booze in them. They <laughs> boo like the <laughs> beat boo. They <laughs> born with booze oh, in them, bro. You want to jump off a bridge when you because their their booze is like it's so. It's, they're so dedicated to the boo. <laughs> it's like <God. laughs> they ready to boo you before yeah, you even boo because they yeah. know when yeah. you walk out. If they like you or not, because no. but I always tell people like, like all these other places you you get ready, you know, with stand up. Mm -hmm. You don't go out to New York till you are ready. Okay, right. right. You don't go out to New York and try to bang with New Yorkers until you so got that it. That ain't a test of mark. Yeah, that ain't a test mark. You go to like the Chicago's. You know what I'm saying? I even say you play out in L.A. a little bit. Okay, but New York. It's, it's you like go out to New Square York when Garden. you got yeah. it, because because those comics are polished, bro. They're good. I'm talking about they, they they hang out in the clubs, you know, all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't leave 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning to go to sleep for a little bit to get up and do it again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they doing this. It's a, it's a religion. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you don't you don't go. And I thought that my country ass coming out <laughs> there, I was ready. Yeah, hey, nigga, I got, I'm going to show y'all New Yorkers. You know what I'm saying? I'm What's funny. Up? Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. about more than being funny. funny. It's about being polished. Okay. Right? And and they got it. And they got it. And I was like, bro, I was not where I thought I was. Okay. And so even even when, when it comes to, like, rap and stuff now, yeah. uh, everybody's kind of looking down on who's writing for who and yeah. all this and that. So yeah. when in the comedy world, um, are you having writers? Are you are you writing, or do do the comedy people look down on people writing shows and stuff? You know that? Yeah, I think I think yeah. They, they so it was a thing where people. I remember this big debate with like Kevin Hart and all these guys. Okay, um, they were talking about writers, but I I think people got to understand like the greatest of the greatest had writers. Yeah, Richard definitely. Pryor, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Richard Pryor had writers. You know what I'm saying? So when you talk about when you talk about uh, these guys who are balancing film careers, mm -hmm. right, and, yeah. and and TV shows yeah. and other deals behind the scenes that we don't know about, and still keeping the thing that's that's the primary of their career, which is stand up. Yeah, I ain't got time to be like I used to be when I first started. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't got no writers yet, but you better believe yeah, they coming. They coming. They coming. Uh, <laughs> so call me whatever you want to call me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, call me now, cause uh, but I think but I think you can still hear the comics voice. You know what I'm okay. saying? Most definitely. You can still hear the comics voice. Richard Pryor, you still heard Richard Pryor. You knew Dude, it was Richard Pryor. I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I want to, and it's where I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, you, got, you can have the baby. Yeah. 
they always say he get the same beats. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, actually, a producer can say, hey, I know what kind of beats the baby like. I can just make one he like. Boom. Yeah. And so, do you think it's, it's more like the same thing with comedy? Like, yeah, you can write for me, yeah. but you know that's me. Yeah, yeah. I think you got to know the voice, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think, like, yeah, you got to know their voice. Like, you yeah. think, think about Richard Pryor in, 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 in his heyday. Okay. Right? In the 70s. Richard Pryor, to write for Richard Pryor at that time, you would have had to know that you had to write about white people. <laughs> that's what get- Right? Like, if you, were, if, you don't, if you don't know to do that, that's the, fir- that's that's what the first thing, right? He create. He kind of created did that. He, okay. People, white people paid to come see Richard Pryor talk about them, and that was before his time, yeah. right? Yeah. And you had to know. Now, who wrote for Richard Pryor? Who? Educators. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney, okay. Right? Yeah. Now, if you look at Paul Mooney, okay. and you look at, at Richard Pryor standing up, you can see Paul Mooney's influence in the writing, right? Yeah. But yeah. then you can go around and you see Paul Mooney talk White people, <laughs> why, why, why can't y'all just love us niggas? <laughs> why won't y'all? Like, you, you, you just can't get enough. You want to be a so bad. Yeah. You want to be a so bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you never be. You'll never be. You'll never be. You'll try to be, but you'll never be. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. But you listen to Richard Pryor, old Richard Pryor, and you listen to some of the bits, and you go, I can see, I can believe that Paul wrote that joke. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Well, then, so I think, yeah, if, if, if you hear the voice and you know, you know, you look at Harry, who writes for Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? He, he knows Kevin's voice, so he can write in Kevin's voice. You know what I'm saying? And then Kevin goes and, and does his own thing with it. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Um, considering uh, everything you got going on in comedy, mm-hmm. and, you know, we you know we trying to make it and do our thing, and if we if they say, hey, DJ Pryor, yeah, you going to get your deal, but we got to go over Puppy House and stay over there for about a week. <laughs> If, if DJ Pryor going to spend night on Puffy House for a week. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. How many rooms he got? <laughs> How many rooms? He got a lot. He got, he got a, a lot of magic. rooms. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Are they adjacent? Like, are they, like, can he get to my room? And I, <laughs> like, can he come in he and probably, I don't hear him? He probably got a secret patch in every room. Yeah. You know what like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. How much am I elevating? If no, I'm saying no, you know, man, I ain't with it, bro. I ain't with it. You know, I, I. So true story. So I go out to LA, right? Okay. And I just get my deal with CBS, and I'm getting invited to all these parties. And I, at me, I'm just like I'm staying focused. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting out here, ain't getting no party. And everybody, I'm even flattered that people thought I was on that level. It was like, hey man, whatever you do, don't go to the puffy parties. <laughs> and, then, and I was like, and everybody, you hear that enough? You like, don't go to the puffy parties. So I was like, all right, I ain't going to puffy. I don't even know. What is what is he doing over there? You know what I'm saying? What is he doing in yeah, the party? What is he doing in the parties? You know what I mean? You almost want to show up to yeah. see what he's doing. I want to. I want to see what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But nah, uh, nah, I'm good on the, I'm good on the Diddy parties, bro. Uh, jail, you know, look at my body. Jail ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? My body ain't. This ain't a it ain't jail, the jail body. Yeah, this ain't a jail body. You know, you see the guys would be like looking like they pumping iron. They in ready to go jail. You know what I'm saying? They ready. Ooh, yeah, they ooh, ready. Them guys, not me. Not not me. I'd be pregnant. No, I'm not doing that. And so, <laughs> you're not getting me, bro. No, no. And so, look. And so, uh, when it's considering the com- comedian community, I want to talk about the whole Cat Williams situation. Oh man. Oh man. The whole Cat Williams. Yeah. Would you would have been mad if he knew you and didn't say your name? Would Hell you would have yeah. wanted him? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, cat. You, hey, you forgot about somebody? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, I think, man, it's, that's such a funny situation, man. Okay. Um, but as a comedian, I want to know, like, how did you about that interview? Like, yeah, that? it was, it was, it was. Hey, he ripped everybody. Uh, he ripped. Everybody. I uh, here's what I think, though. I shout. I love him. When I started stand up, it was I started stand up in 2003. If you remember, Cat Williams was the guy in 2003. Most definitely, right? He was the guy. Um, I do think that obviously there's, I mean, everybody can agree. There's so much truth to a lot of stuff he said. Mm-hmm. I think, um, what, what begins to, when you start having the problems, man, is like, I think we, we heard it, you know, it's like when we hear it, it's like, all right, cat, we heard it. Yeah. Still hearing it. You know what I mean? It's like, mm. all right, well, cool. After a while, I think sometimes people can be ineffective because of their 
semantics. Okay. So I think some stuff he's done, decisions he's made, right? Will you see this stuff? Whether the media make him look crazy or not, he's done some stuff you like, cat look crazy. Yeah. But then when he say something, you almost don't like really pay attention. You're like, oh, that's the crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't so, know how to depict yeah, which cat which, is coming. Right, which okay. cat is coming. So okay. you don't know what's fact and what's fiction. Now, a lot of stories he told in the comedy world, it's known that these stories are true. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, and he is just, to me, is a genius. Okay. You know, Cat Williams just, just staying there just funny. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but I think people discount how intellectual he is okay. because of things that they've seen uh, presented to them about him. But, I, man, it, it was it was crazy. He aired out. He aired out everybody. In, in, in the comedic world, like... Yeah. Um, Y'all don't really beef. How do y'all beef? If if a comedian is beefing. Oh, it's beef now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like beef. At, ask Flood. <laughs> Flood rolled up on me in the club, bro. I'm not making this up. When he see this clip, ask, ask him about it. When he get, bring him to the show, ask him about it. He Flood rolled up to me in the club, bro. He was in He was in my city. He was doing the show. Okay. Mind you, I didn't. <laughs> I think I heard about the show and I was going to go to the show. Yeah. And I was like, Flood probably going to want to fight. You know <laughs> That's what I thought. I already want to fight tonight. <laughs> and then we go fight. And then when we ask, why we fighting? And we go like, over a Michael Jackson show. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't think so. That's not right? a fighting. That's not, fight, uh, right. Fight, yeah. That ain't even a gangster topic to fight over. <laughs> yeah. So, so we in the club, bro. I'm doing my job. Hey, oh, oh hey. Get tapped on the shoulder. It's, turn around, and say, oh my lord! And then <laughs> and he was like, he, here. he was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, I don't know. You tell me. That's what I, but I, but I got, get, I don't know. You tell me. He was like, so you don't know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> well, I was about to beat my ass in this club, bro. And I was like, bro, so some guys got in between us, man. So comedians beef. Yeah. Comedians beef. Uh, it's just, it's just a, it's just a stupid ass beef. Yeah. It's not, it's not something that you take serious. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Cat Williams and 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 whoever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what you, what we gonna have a joke off? Yeah. I think it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, out, yeah, yeah, it's like, like versus, like, yeah, versus. You know, I don't let's know. talk about each other. Let's just talk about saying? each other. This is a roast battle, but this is stuff we've been doing for years. But yeah, I mean, we beef. It's it's a different age now. Like I said, because it's hypersensitive. Everybody's mm-hmm. so hypersensitive. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you see the Gerard Carmichael and uh, Dave Chappelle thing. Like okay. you know what I mean? It's like you kind of see this stuff and you're going. Nobody wants to be. Nobody wants to be discredited for their opinion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think that everybody should be able to have their opinion on whatever that is to them. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because that is the art form. And I think once we get back to the funny, yeah, and we can be because you know, I like some of this stuff. I I don't got no. I love guys on both sides. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, but let's get back to what made you famous. Yeah. You're funny. Mm-hmm. Just be funny, man. Like, but me sitting there and you listening to you talk about so and so and so and so. I mean, after a while, it's like, yo, we not rappers, but we acting like rappers. Yeah. We acting yeah. like rappers more than rappers right now, and rappers yeah. acting like the comedians. I'm yeah. so confused. And so <laughs> when you got a person like a, another one, and I, you know, I'm just. I'm a um, I'm a comedy guy. That's my favorite um, yeah. comedy. I don't even watch movie unless it's comedy. Yeah. I like comedy stand up. And so when you got a guy like Country Wayne coming in, yeah, and you got a guy like Face On Love, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And how much respect do you have for Country Wayne and what he's doing Man. and taking the comedy by storm? You know, I here's what I say, bro. You know, when you find your niche and you find a way to 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 not only create a way for others, but you you learn how to tax it. Okay. Like how to get the bread from it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Country Wayne, what I like about it, I, and I'm going to be honest, bro, I've been checking out his stuff. You know what yeah, I mean? Like thanks. he's he has created a lane for himself mm-hmm. and for other people. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. That he's eating more. And this is somebody who's, who's had a deal with a major network. Yeah. He's doing numbers. That major networks is not paying a young black comic like me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you look at him, you go and man, he's he's a pioneer in his own right to this generation. Like he's paving a way. So I think man, he deserves a lot of respect because he's he's doing what a lot of guys talk about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's found it. And then I'm looking at what he's doing. I'm going, all right, now how can I take that? And you know what I'm saying? 
And I think people don't know how to differentiate between taking and adding on to and then hating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. a thin line. It's like, oh, well, why are you mad at him mm-hmm. for doing it? Why not just add to what just he's add, doing? That's what I was. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Yeah. They, but but so when you talk about like the phase ons and stuff, it seems to me, uh, I don't know the root of their beef or whatever. I, I've heard a little bit about it, but it seems to me that you don't know how to add to what he's doing. So you got to criticize what he's doing. How do you not get jealous uh, when a comedian make it? Yeah. And you know that you're better than him. Yeah. I think you, it's, it's just, it's all about God's timing and okay. it's your time. You know what I mean? I've helped comics, man, who who I've like been like a mentor to. Okay. And then they went on and do late night. Yeah. I haven't done a late night set yet. It's, Yo, but that was your time. Mm-hmm. You were where you were supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And then God decided, hey, I'm going to give you a viral video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, he did late night, and 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 people love that late night set, but then I just did, I just went viral, and I'm getting stopped everywhere I go. He still gave me the fame. He just yeah. didn't give me the way I, I wanted it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes it's kind of yeah. like, we don't get what we want, how right. we, you how know what I'm saying, how we want. But you still got it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I think it's it's all about timing, man. It's all about being ha- genuinely happy, and that's what one thing about me, man. I'm genuinely happy for the the Country Waynes, the okay. Desi Banks, the DC Young Flies. I'm genuinely happy for these guys, but most of these guys have not been doing it as long as me. Mm-hmm. I'm that, 21 years yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? So some of them have. I pre- what I appreciate about all of them is that they they found their niche, they 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 worked hard at it, and they did something with it, and they became something from it. But they didn't come in like, oh, I got this. Yeah. They came in, they learned it. They studied it, they got better at it, and they did something with it. So shout out to them, man. I think I think these are this is the future of comedy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm honored to be in the same, you know, generation as these guys who are doing great stuff. And even and even with your whole career, and everybody's always talking about support, support, support. Yeah. Like, what do you expect from people when it's coming to your career? Are you just expecting I'm just gonna grind it out and do my thing? Or I feel like these people need to support me or embrace me. I think you get over that your first couple of years. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think you, I think you, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't want nobody to come see me because I was, I was, you know, I was 15. I was cussing, cussing. <laughs> I ain't want nobody to come cussing, see me. Cussing, Yeah, I was, oh man. Ha <laughs> Davis cussing, cussing. Oh man, I was, bro. I, man, I was, so my, you know, I remember Cat Williams was at the top. Yeah. That was my inspiration. Yeah. So at the time, I wanted to come out and cuss. Now, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor were like my ultimate go-tos, right? Give me your top five comedians. My top quick. five? Give me your top okay. five comedians. Um, my, my, my top five would be Richard. Okay. Okay. I like Richard. Uh, Eddie. Okay. A lot of people don't know who really played a part in influence. It's going to shock some of y'all. Charlie Chaplin. Was was now for those who don't know who Charlie Chaplin was, he was a silent movie star. Okay, right? Did funny stuff. He did comedic stuff, and he learned. He taught. You know, you were able to laugh at him through his movement mm-hmm. stuff he did, and that to me was pure talent. Like you can, you could be funny, yeah, and not say a word. So in my stand up, my animation. I took from Charlie Chaplin. And I watched Eddie Murphy. And I, and I watched you know uh, 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 Richard Pryor. Um, and then you had the Bernie Macs. Okay. Bernie Mac was my one, uh, and Martin Lawrence. Hmm. These are all the guys that were just like like my Mount Rushmore of comedians. Uh, Chris Tucker. These are these are my guys that were just. How does here. comedians get? And work together, like say, you know how like rap is so easy to like. If Jesus, said, I want to work with Ti, we go work with Ti. So, how as comedians, how do you guys work together? No, it's it's one of them. You know, I think <laughs> I think everybody approach it different now. I think it's like, yeah, man. You know, when you in the clubs, <laughs> when you in the clubs, you testing it out, right? Yeah. You want to see who's because in the clubs, comments it's a who's who. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, we all wishing each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we want to, secretly, we don't say this, but we want to see you bomb tonight. We want to <laughs> we want to see you bomb. We want to see you do horrible. Uh, so we want to, uh, we in there, we all filling each other out. He going up. All right, cool. And we go out there, we sit and watch. Oh, dope set. All right, cool. And it, you know what I mean? But it's, uh, it's, but it's friendly competition. Yeah. But it's like, hey, man, you want to, you want to do something together? If you, if you find, if you're lucky enough Define that comic you vibe with. Okay. Then y'all can do something together. But I think because it's such a competitive thing now, 
people don't collaborate as much as they used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, on sketches, yeah, maybe. But, okay. like, you know, when you talk about, like, out here, just, I don't know. People, it's funny now. It's okay. funny. And so when we're dealing with, and this is just stuff that, that we're real interested in just being, because yeah. we are fans of you guys yeah. first. Yeah. And when you're, when you're on, like, King, we talking about Kings of Comedy. Yeah. And... You got a Steve Harvey saying, hey, I don't want to come behind Bernie Mac. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. and so how does comedians kind of bite through that? Like you get to pick like, are you scared to go behind these people? Just in in that yeah. sense of we're talking about Steve yeah. and we're talking about Bernie. Yeah. Is it is it a fight who goes behind who? I think the audience choose for real. If you if you if you being honest, man, like if if see it's 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 an ego thing. For comics, right? Oh, I want to go, right? Okay. But if, but if, but if so and so going out there, and the audience can't breathe, okay, can't handle them, like clearly nobody can go after them, then that's your closer. And if you if you can't do what that person can do, enjoy your spot. You're a middle guy. You're an opener. Okay. But you're not a headliner. I'm asking you a question though. Or you're not a closer. What, what if what if the, what if the main closer that they know everybody love. It's trying to go first, and you're saying like, "Hey, come on, Bernie. You know everybody loves you. Let me go before you." Yeah. Like, what if Bernie's saying, "No, I'm, I'm going," and then you're going? Do you have a problem with that? You just, you just get then, then after that, you just got to pray to God. <laughs> <laughs> this is where prayer comes in. This God, is, this is where God prayer comes either in. let them bomb really bad. <laughs> we go back to the bomb again. Let, let them bomb really bad, because if not, then it, people don't. I mean. I think people genuinely, people that came to laugh just want to laugh. They don't yeah. care about all that, but the politics of it, like we do. But, I mean, if somebody, I think it just, it's one of those things where you step your game up. Yeah. If they if they killing it and they going before you, then you don't sit back there and cry about it. And you, you better get real funny real fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and figure out how you could top. Because sometimes it's not even, sometimes it's it's more, if they, it's sometimes it's energy, right? They might be funnier. Okay. But can you top the energy? energy. Ooh. Right? Okay. Sometimes it's not about being funny. They might have been funnier, like punch for punch. Like I'm not a heavy punchline guy. Okay. But I know my I know my strength. My strength yeah. is my energy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I can describe something in a way that I'm going, I right, I know this is my superpower. So, I know I'm a shine. So when you're going in different markets, yeah. I mean, I know um I've I've been to I've seen a comedian Nashville. Yeah. And I've seen them do a set, which was great. Yeah. And then I went somewhere else in Texas and see them do the same set, and yeah. it was just as greater. Yeah. So when it comes to to co comedians, do you do different sets in different places? Do you have a like, oh, I know I'm going to, we were just talking about New York. Yeah. I'm going to New York. Yeah. I got to, you know what I'm saying? So how do you different doing different sets in yeah. different places? I think knowing, number one, knowing your audience. Okay. Knowing your audience is one thing. Uh, I, I think, um, Sometimes I'll be somewhere and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try this here. You know what I mean? Like mm. I went to I went to uh, Alabama, right? And I did this comedy show in Alabama, and uh, you know, conservative, you know, Republicans. Okay. And I told this uh, Capitol riot joke, and and I said, <laughs> and I just pulled it out tonight. I'm gonna do it tonight, right here, right now. And I said, and I said, and I said, and I, said, and I saw most of y'all there. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, what? Yeah. And 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 it and, and when it when I said it, it was like a shockwave. Uh huh. And this big white guy laughed in the back. He laughed so hard, and the room, the room just erupted. You know what I mean? And so sometimes it works in the places that it shouldn't work in. That's why it works. It's like, oh, you can't say you can't say that here. But do you go in? Do you go in yeah, thinking I'm like, yep. Like <laughs> right here, right now, it's go, <laughs> it's go it. time. I'm saying, but do you go in certain places like saying like, no, nah, I ain't gonna talk about this. Churches, that's it, that's it. Churches, <laughs> churches. How far do you go in churches? Uh, you know, I go to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I go right to the edge and where pastor you think about getting up and coming to get me. What? But he like, uh, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm right there. I teeter. Uh, but I still make them comfortable. It's just about reading the room. You know what I mean? I think the comics, their job is supposed to be able to read the room. room. And yeah, some yeah. of these niggas mess up hard. That comes that comes with talent. With, right? Yeah. Yeah, with experience. With experience. Yeah, and just talent. knowing, yeah, knowing, hey, not not there. 
Don't go there. Shift. Come back. Same and so, career. And so when when coming to dealing with uh comedy and companies, when you're signing on anything, yeah. like, what, what do you rather just stay like independent or let me sign with somebody? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We got the all the the, the managers is here. Oh shit, man, now. man. I don't know. Man. I don't even know. How long y'all been um, right there? Oh, for real? Okay. <laughs> this is like shit. This is like when you. This is like when you come to church late and the hey. usher don't let you in. Hey. That's hey. It. You should have had hey. your ass. Right. <laughs> you should have had your ass here. Now that the managers are here, <laughs> um, yeah. How how do um uh, as as you being the the comedian that you are, uh-huh. and what do you expect out your managers, and what do you expect them to do? Like, what type of job? What do you expect out of them? You know, because they shouldn't be here for nothing. You know, here's the thing. I there's I can honestly say, I don't have people around me that do nothing. Right? I had people around okay. that did nothing. Can we get some names? Right? Never right. mind. I, I had some people. They was around. Uh, but but like like for example, this this one right here in this this green this jolly green right here. Right? She has she has. There's no job that she can't do. Mm. Right, so there's there's a confidence that I have in her okay. in knowing that she can do these jobs that I place on her. Okay. And now I'm the kind of guy that I'll throw some at you. I throw some at you. Hey, I was thinking about this. When I say I'm thinking about it, that means I already decided on it. <laughs> yeah, what you trying to see when she comes out? Yeah. Right, I've already decided. decided and she in her job, okay. she'll say, "But DJ, think about this." <laughs> no, no, because no. that's not my job. That's your job. That's your my thing. job is to tell you we're doing this. Yeah. Right. Um, so what I expect is them like kind of like we was talking about here yeah. is somebody when I give the vision catch it yeah most and definitely. let's, and let's run with it you know what I mean um, and I think that's where I I pride you know, like my I take pride in my team is they'll catch it even when okay. they don't agree ooh and and it's a lot of times we running they running blind it's, where you going man just just follow me but know? hold up but in management um I say this all the time. Mm-hmm. In music, mm-hmm. I've been around a lot of musicians. Me and Young Buck has been best friends since mm-hmm. we were kids. I don't know if we best friends right now because he mad at me. But so I don't even know we even got them friends. Are we still friends, nigga? That's what I want to know. But uh, but 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 um, if your management is coming saying, "Hey, DJ, I think this is good for you," and you might not even see it, do you go with it or do you just kind of? I've gotten better. Okay. I before it was like nah. Nah, I, I here's the thing. It's 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 kind of a it's kind of a half half thing where you got to be good. I gotta be. I gotta trust you, right? Okay. But you also got to be good at pitching it. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a terrible pitcher. Don't be, do, you know what I'm saying? You got one shot. Pitcher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> pitch it right. You know what I'm saying? Make pitch it, it right. Thick. So if you pitch it to me right, I'll go. Uh, well, and then you say, hold on, let me, you know, and then I'll let you finish, and I'll go. I know if I'm gonna give it a shot then, okay. or I'm gonna go. Oh no, we're not doing that. Facts. You know what I mean? That has because that has nothing to do with where we're going. But if it if it's something that you pitch to me and it's it's like there's a possibility in it, or even has a little potential, I'll at least look into it. I'll be fair. I'm I'm good at that. If you but you gotta be so so the strength about my team is they're also good pitchers. Okay. Ooh. Right? So 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 I could I'm confident enough that if I couldn't go into a meeting to pitch to execs. I can literally send my team in, and and they could pitch on my behalf. That's you know, what we are. You know what I can say about your management? Um, they 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 are good pitchers, but they also good. Like when I was talking to her, I was on Facetime. Yeah, and I was asking her for the interview. Yeah, and she was looking like I don't know if I'm gonna give you this interview. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like. It made me more adamant on all. You gonna give me this gonna interview? Give me this. I'm Ricky. I'm gonna send you everything, <laughs> and I kind of, I kind of respected that because yeah. um, it showed me that she really care about, about what the y'all got yeah. about the brain. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. so that made me more like I'm finna get yeah, that interview. Right. And she said, "When you want to do it?" I said, "Do it today." Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I respect that. But I want to talk about this new uh, episode you got coming out, Daddy Issues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, uh, your son is the star. You, he was, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, that's he why I did one special. Kid. I took it back. I took the power back. <laughs> <laughs> you took the power back. <laughs> and what made you come um, name it that issues? Well, because, 
like I said, the video went viral, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then now I'm forced to confront my own issues okay. with my biological father in front of the world. And that's crazy because when you got to, when you're known for this thing, it's like you're this terrific dad. It was a guy, I think he was out in Boston or something. He had a podcast. And um, he was begging for this interview. See? He look, this guy asked for this interview. And I and I agreed to give him. He wasn't a big, big, uh, big show. And I gave him the interview. And he said, uh, you know, Pryor, I've seen all your interviews. I've seen your CNN interviews. I've seen all your big interviews. He said, you know, one thing nobody, he's like, nobody's asked the question. What was your relationship relationship like with your dad? Ooh, and, that's a good one. And I was like, you know what? That's right. Nobody's ever asked me that question. And we got to talking about... Um, you know, my relationship with my biological father. So the man who raised me was not my biological father, but that's my dad. Okay. He took me on. He was married to my mother. When my mother left, you know, my mom was on drugs and did some other things. My mom left. He said, you can leave. I'm keeping him. And so that's how I got the last name prior. He adopted me. But my biological dad wanted well, me. Well, the Richard Pryor, ain't your daddy. No, he ain't my daddy. Okay, but, daddy but, you daddy. know, he, he <laughs> you were close uncle, him, though. He, <laughs> he close <laughs> uncle. He close <laughs> uncle. We got a story about that. But, but, yeah. uh, so, so, but this thing between me and my biological dad, just was an unresolved issue. Okay. And so um, the, the man who raised me, my father, said, you got to deal with this issue between you and your biological dad. And I was like, no, nah, you and my pops. I ain't yeah, why, I don't, I don't need him. Right? I don't need him no more. Right? We, good. We, we good. We good. Right? We good. We, we us. Good. Yeah. Right? We, yeah. <laughs> we us, man. Yeah. We, it's <laughs> us. And he was like, nah, but, you, but, but he wanted me to be free. Okay. I want you to be free of that. that you know, it's, it's like bondage, man. He was like, I want you to be free of that. And uh, so before my biological dad passed away, he, my biological dad, actually started to want to fix this thing before he died. Okay. He wanted to mend this thing. And so um, kind of in all of the stuff that I was doing, all these interviews and all that, I felt like a hypocrite, you know, talking about, you know, us being there for our kids and this and that and loving dads and yeah, 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 and, 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 and um, you know, I wanted to tell the story about how I, resolve my issue with my biological dad. And the best way to debunk this lie about us not being present was through the best way I knew how, which is telling jokes. Yeah. So I was like, I'm a I'm a I'm a battle this, but I'm a battle this the best way I know how. I'm gonna do it on the mic. You know what I mean? So the the special was like I had the idea it was like <clears throat> I'm gonna confront this issue head on. Okay. I'm gonna do it in my special and tell my story at the same time. So I did it <clears throat> and we worked it out when I told him the thing I was telling about is oh, I got an issue. Let's do you know I'm thinking about doing a special. It was like, okay, when? This year. I said this in what, May? I said this in May. We shot it in October, right? Uh, $150,000. Mm, to, to Later. Yeah, to to film it. Uh, and and we, even when I pitched that, I was like, I want to do this special. I want to do it big. Okay. It was like, how big? I was like, man, I'm going to do this, do that, and yeah, yeah. I, would, woo. I said, it's probably going to cost us about $20,000. That's mm, what I said. That's what you thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> what would you thought? Right? That issue. So, so right, that okay. issue, right? <laughs> so, uh, I'm like, yeah, it's probably going to be about 20000 Yeah. Brought this producer on. Hey, man, I want to do this. Tell me what you want to do. Cool. He said, right, I'm going to be back. I'm going to get you a quote. He called back. He was like, hey, man, I got the quote for you. All right, come on, 20000 20, you know, Come on, 20000 Let's go. <laughs> he said, yeah, it's going to be about, uh, he said, about 130 said, so, what? <laughs> he said, hey. what? Well, he said, oh, 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 I forgot you said you wanted the thing. He said, that's going to be 150 <laughs> He said, what? He said, he said, he said, what? He's like, from 20. Look, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Look, the team over here looking at me. Let me, let me call you back. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me call you back. I'm going to go look at my piggy bank, see what I got. <laughs> I'm going to call you back. And I told the team, and they're like, well, how are we going to do this? I was like, but I don't know. We're going to do it. Man, no sooner he told us that four days later, four days later, bro, had $150,000. Is that God again? Man, he be showing up, bro. He be showing, look, I'm looking at the camera. He be showing up, bro. He be showing up. No, and that's what I knew. I was right where I was supposed to be. I, I, you know, here I am, this long into a comedy career that hadn't had a special, hadn't, you know, and now I didn't have to go to the gatekeepers. I didn't have to go to Netflix, nobody to fund it. This is me, you know, producing this. I went to some investors who were crazy enough to to believe in me, got behind yeah. me, said, yo, let's do it, and, and, and self-produce this. Right, my team, who had never, by the way, done anything like this, mm-hmm. 
did this and 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 you know once again she was she was she played major roles on this like every role we ain't finna be giving her all this every time I she, know. she just got here I know I know it's too <laughs> we much we not finna give her. it's too much I feel like I you know I'll be honest with you I feel like she gets too much glory I try to <laughs> take it every time I can uh no it's like <laughs> shut up uh and no but yeah it was just like it was it was work man it was it was it was hard work and we and we did it and my team came and we all did something that we never did. We got this big auditorium. We're gonna have to sell this out. We're gonna have to, and and we and and everything tried to stop us. Okay. Up until two weeks before, we lost the production company that we hired to to produce it for us. Had to fire. Mm. Two weeks. Tickets are already selling. Oh wow. So right now we ain't got no cameras. <laughs> We ain't got no, <laughs> we ain't got no nothing. We ain't got no crew. Nothing. We got none. And the show, and so they're like, what you want? Well, we got to figure it out. Went and rebuilt the whole team. Wow. Built the whole crew. Um, over 40 some, 50 some people of a crew. And in two weeks, man, shot that special. Big shout out to Courtney. I always, um, I was talking to an artist the other day, and I told him, I said, you need to get management. Yeah. And because I feel like management, uh, especially when you got somebody that actually believe in you, yeah, I feel like they can make moves that you can't. Yeah. Because with you being a father, and do you think uh, with your kids, you think that made you want to be a better father on the strength of what you went through with yours? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you 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 learn from it. Um, you experience it. And I, I said I always wanted to get my kids better. Um, and and my father, you know, who raised me, he was he was a great example. You know what I mean, he was also a great example, so he made me want to go harder too. Question, real quick. Mm-hmm. So you know you need them hundred and fifty. Why you didn't go to Puffy House? You know, here's the thing. <laughs> if 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 I would have known, you know what? Before before I knew all I knew, <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> I would have went to Puffy. <laughs> maybe I would have said. <laughs> but then Puffy would want me to take that, take that. So never mind. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. I'm, just, I'm gonna go back over here hold, with the investors. Yeah, I'm okay. Route, you know I'm over saying? here, yeah. right? Yeah, you know. What I'm now, I'd be up with the feds right now, like DJ Pryor. <laughs> and then, damn, yeah, but, I just hey. got money to do a special. <laughs> hey. I, God you didn't do all the rest right. of Right, God dang. You know, my first saying. and only special, because now I'm in prison, <laughs> and now all my specials are gonna be in prison. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Ricky. I appreciate you. What? Good advice. What? <laughs> <laughs> What keeps if you up? alive, subscribe. Yeah, told me to do this. Then. This, this D, is it, guys. We're trying to get this money. You trying know to get this money. You know? Wow. So what keeps what what keeps DJ prior? Okay, so with a family, you have a family. You you married. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do your wife trust you in being out and all the stuff you're doing? You're with two ladies, two beautiful ladies right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, two beautiful ladies right mm-hmm. now, and so you're rolling around with them all day, <laughs> having a good time. Mm-hmm. How does wife still support you in that? Can I tell you something? You okay. know, no spouse wants to believe that her her significant other's having a good time without her. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she just doesn't. She just doesn't. It's, just, it's all bitterness when you get to the house. Ooh. See? That I just put the kids to bed again by myself. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> just all pure hate. Uh so there's there's a, there's a there's a line. That she like your spouse secretly hates you, uh, <laughs> on the low. you on the low. <laughs> it's a secret. She ain't gonna say it because right. you're trying to pursue underneath your career. Underneath the covers, hate right. <laughs> okay. And if you pull that cover back, you're like, oh, there it is. <laughs> but but it's underneath the cover, uh, no, nah, she's cool, man. She's 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 a great like a great person, and 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 it's important. I say this. It's important to be with people that that supported you before you got to where you are, right? Yeah. Yeah. That can see your vision, so they understand. Your spontaneity. They understand okay. when you dream up something, it fails. They understand. Okay. Um, they understand the risk of what it is to be with you. Um, so I think all, for all those things, um, she's good at those those things. She's mastered those things in understanding who I am in in those areas. Okay. Uh, um, and I and I would think that those were pretty annoying for her. Um, in fact, I know they are. Uh, <laughs> so, so, but you've had she, experiences, right? Yeah, yeah you know, you know. Uh, I only know this because she tells me. Uh, <laughs> she does a very good job okay. at keeping the home home. Okay, good. You know what I'm saying, yeah, and good. keeping, you know, that all what I do is what I do. She understands that comes with the industry, but your your house, this house is not the industry, right? This is the house. That's the industry. And that's and I think that's good to be able to differentiate that uh in in you know 
what what's what's your what's your overall plan? And I want it's a two part question. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you was first a kid, we all got asked this question in school. Mm-hmm. What did you want to be? I love how Ricky role. presented that like when I was a first a kid. Like was I a kid second? Yeah, <laughs> hey, she go, oh, I see this. this when you was first gonna a keep kid. On right. <laughs> this this in the finna go left in a minute, oh. <laughs> what 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 keeps you motivated to keep doing comedy? Man, it's it honestly, man, it's the need of it. It is, it is, it is literally, man. Um, you gotta think how when you talk about like how depression is on the rise, right? Okay. Suicide on the rise. Okay. You know what I'm saying? People take life so serious mm-hmm. like life let's put it life i always say this life is not complicated we complicate life What's that? right yeah, life yeah. will do life will give you peace. life on life right life yeah. on life life, if, on life life will give you peace yeah. if you surround yourself with peace right it's gonna do what life does yeah. it's gonna have its challenges but it don't mean that it, it, it's terrible right mm-hmm. but we in response to the challenges that we have we complicate it Cause we don't know how to take it, so then we go do. Think about it. When you made some dumbass decision, it was because Uh-oh. something happened and you reacted to it uh, out of pure quick. emotion. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You like when you got done, you was like, "That was a dumbass decision." That you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah. you made the situation that was here. Now you made it here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That girl hung up, and you like she might be over there with a nigga, and you keep calling her. Now you look pathetic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. you were just been cool. She was out with her sister. See, now yeah. you're a dumbass. See, you're now dumbass. she don't want you because yeah. you look terrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's just we complicate. I, that's never never happened to me before. I'm just putting it out there. It sounded like it did. There was, look, that there was, was some guy that, there. That, was, that sound like look, an experience. Look, look, there's a well, guy. we going to go with it. There was some guy right there calling this girl like, put my phone down. Never mind. You're right. You're right. <laughs> no, but it's like we complicate life. So I think um, just to be able not to take life so serious, man, that's the job of a comic, man. It's like, hey, life is happening. We get it. But let's talk about the issues that nobody wants to touch. Yeah. That's give As a comic, it's like, hey, what don't everybody want to touch? And you grab all those subjects grab all those topics mm-hmm. and you bring them in. That's why Dave Chappelle is so rich. Yeah. Cause Dave Chappelle's like, Hey, what do y'all not want to talk about? Cool. I'll take it. If, and that's what makes him work. Do, do we have a top comedian or, or everybody just kind of got their own playing field or can you take one comedian and say, Hey, this is the top guy. Are we t- now, now let me ask you this. Are we talking, are we talking, are we talking skill set or are we talking? We, we just talking straight skill. We talking star. straight. We talking straight skill set. Skill set. Oh man, we're talking Dude. straight. We're talking straight I would, skill I, set. Man, I would have to give it to a Chappelle. That, at, I would. I would have to today. give it to. He Dave is the Chappelle. modern. He is the modern prior. He is the modern day Richard Pryor, and 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 I don't give that out too easy. easy yeah. He he is the modern day prior. He because Pryor said stuff. That you go like you had Dangerfield on the stage, you had Cosby on the stage, yeah. but prior touch stuff, you go, mm. you know what I mean? Let's talk about something real yeah. quick. <laughs> Bill, Bill Cosby. Oh, I knew it. I knew when I said it. <laughs> Bill Cosby, yeah, you opened <laughs> like, it up. I tried to hit the, I had to hit the break, up. but it was like, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, we're thinking about him in a minute. Cancel. I got you, oh. We're we done. Because he ain't finna help me, because <laughs> I like my show. I want my show. But- no, as Bill Cosby, he was a big critic of just everything. Yeah. Like rappers and pudding pup. <laughs> and, and for him to uh go to jail for what he went to jail for, still shout out to Bill. We we look up to him. Yeah, you hold on. You speak he, for you. Was he a doctor for real? He just playing. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna try to rig it out here. <laughs> don't indict me here, uh, <laughs> sir. <laughs> we look up to we don't look up to nothing. <laughs> I like the show. I like the show. I love this wife. I thought she was beautiful. But we. <laughs> I'll pick myself. Wait a minute. Okay. That was Ricky. <laughs> Ricky said that. You alive, subscribe. <laughs> hey, what, what I'm just saying, like, did it, did, did it make him look real bad considering he done talked about everybody? And then, uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> You get 50 white women to say you touched them. <laughs> nigga, it's bad. That's a bad day. That's a, that's a horrible day. That's a, that's a, that's a, yo, that's one a, white woman saying you did something to her. 50, 50 of them? Oh, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, hey. hey, bro. Man, hey. that's a, you had your last Jello pudding pop. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. That's a bad day, bro. So why Bill Cosby wasn't in your top five? 
Uh, well, here's the thing. Well, you want to talk about skill set? Skill set, <laughs> amazing. Okay. Uh, but now every time I watch the specials, I go, "Damn, I wonder what he did after that show." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I can't help it. It's just, Damn. Like, there was there some white woman just in the back just waiting, like, come on, Bill. And Can he redeem himself after the pudding pop? He's 190. No. <laughs> no. That's going to be Bill. Bill can't see. He can't even figure out where to walk to to write it. No, he can't apologize. The girl could be standing right in front of him. He can't apologize. He can't. No. He can't. No, he done lost his sight. He can't walk on his own. It's over, Bill. It's over, Bill. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bin, bin, bin. <laughs> bin, that's it. That's the end of the Cosby Show. Did you, did you see how quick they took it off BET? They had reruns on reruns on reruns. They took it off. They put Martin on. They done. <laughs> Bill is done. Let me ask you a question. Uh, the best comedian comedian series. Uh huh. What, what which one would you go with? Just series like of sitcom? comedian sitcoms. Best sitcom. Oh, you gotta go with Martin. Martin's my look, top. That, that was more my top. I, I just want to kind of get Martin, this Fresh out of Prince, you. and Jamie Foxx show. Where's DJ Pryor going from here? You know, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this on your show, and then y'all going to look up four or five years from now, and y'all going to be like, show, he, make my said, show go he said it, look, he I said I this, think. and he did this four or five years from now. Bro, I'm I'm in a crazy place okay. right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm out thinking, I'm out doing myself right now okay. in the sense of... Uh, where I'm about to take comedy. Like, I'm about to do something that's... I'm about to do stuff that's never been done. Okay. I, don't, I can't I can't do what everybody's done. I, w- I want to do what they've done and go beyond, right? Um, I'm in this creative space. The companies I'm going to create. The things I want to create for the world. Like, uh, tech companies that I'm going to birth. I'm, like, I got so much. Yeah. I got so much I'm going to do. So, right now, it's just about staying true to the vision. Staying true to my vision and not being diverted um, and letting God add on to what it is. And me actually leaving a footprint that 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 won't showcase me, but showcase what God did with my life when I leave here. Do you think Puffy House is anywhere in there? I think, <laughs> I'm just asking I a think, question. I think, I, here's what I think. I hope Puffy's house, I hope Puffy, <laughs> I hope... <laughs> I hope they get, I hope, he, I listen, I hope, because he might see this, I hope yeah. that all this get worked out, oh. and I hope it don't, I hope you don't lose your sight before it does, because yeah. Axe Bill is tough, <laughs> or you fight the case and you can't see, that's tough, that's, that's tough to go to court, because you don't know if somebody's going to run up and smack you, you don't know nothing, you can't even defend you. you don't know where it's coming from, so Puffy, I hope, before you lose your sight, you get it fixed, <laughs> shout out to you. Take that. <laughs> Take that. Bad boy. Hey, look, uh, DJ Pryor, I want to, um, first of all, I want to commend you for coming. And I want to ask you this question before you go. Okay. Because um, you're going to come back to the show, right? Oh, you better believe you finna, it. I yeah. know where you're going. They Yo, be getting kind of This is crazy. Bougie. This show is crazy. They, they kind of bougie. Yeah. But I want to ask you this. You got about how many uh, millions of views on your on your uh, half a billion or something yeah. like that? How many do you think it was for your son and for you? Like if you adding up a number, like <laughs> hey, that's, like, hey, a ha- like half and half or this why seventy five percent. This why they ain't want me to come on the show, bro. This is <laughs> what. Uh, I did. How many? I you really know, thought your son was coming. You just wanna, be honest you wanna, with you. You want to hear something? I, I thought your son was coming. You want to hear something? Just be honest. Look, look. I'm just asking. Go ahead. When when it went viral, right? I saw all my numbers go up, and then I realized when I wasn't doing videos with him, how many left. <laughs> Like damn, hey guys, I got, I got more content. <laughs> I got more content, guys. <laughs> if you just stay, if you just stay put, I'll, okay, I'll go get the kid. Hey, get, come over here. <laughs> lead him in the, lead him in the camera. Say hi real quick. He okay, they back, they back. All right, they back. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I hope my show don't get canceled today. <laughs> you might. Shut up. You might. Shut up you might. You might. This might be your last show. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thank you for coming. Look, I want you to. I want you to look in that camera right there. Right here. Don't talk to Puffy, but I want you to talk to. A, I want you to talk to a comedian that's trying to keep it grinding and keep it going. Um, first off, don't don't uh don't go just touching random white women. <laughs> 
that's that's first. Okay. Uh, no, man, just, man, if you got a dream, whatever it is, comedy or whatever, man, get out there, do it. Uh, have fun doing it, man, and believe in yourself. And that's so cliche, but I mean, like, really, like, believe in yourself. Like, drink your own Kool-Aid. Be, it's crazy. You got to believe in yourself to really be able to get out here and do it. And uh, and when you get to that point, get you a crazy manager who also believes in you. And uh, and uh, Like yeah. Courtney. Yeah, yep. Yeah. she will They'll break you down. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes. You can last subscribe. <laughs> hey, if you're last subscribe, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs>